I've decided to start showcasing some original products for you guys to see because there are lots of fake products appearing in the automobile market, especially in Nigeria, in Africa. And this is causing a whole lot of issues to cars and so many people don't know, like brake pads, um, oil filters, air filters, engine oil. But today, I will start with some few things that you need to watch out for, especially in original products. And I'll start with oil majorly. So for us, in our workshop, we use Valvoline oil. And as you can see, it's an oil made in Netherlands and a very good oil i get it from a very good plug it brings its oil in directly from walmart in us so that's where we get our oil the other products we get from him though which are valvoline i prefer using most valvoline products that has to do with combustion this is brake cleaner and i use brake cleaner when you have screeching brakes and noisy brakes you use this the fourth system cleaner is for your injector cleaner and everything so we use this majorly now let me talk about filters this is a ufi filter it's an italian filter but made in china these are original our brands and naturally you look at it it is for toyota majorly you see it on the ufi they'll tell you it's a toyota filter nissan filter or any other branded filter it will be written on it and for you to know it's original or not their name is well inscribed on it now these are original mercedes-benz filters i open one for you to know that these are original now there are guys that will package filter for you in an original mercedes pack there's always a mercedes seal holding it in place some guys do form it but naturally it comes with a bag but you can do something open your filter there remove it and check if it is original now mercedes inscriptions are not written they are inscribed on it like vineyard inside it so everything about the oil filter the the model number is well placed and it's made in Germany. So these are an original Mercedes oil filter. So when you're buying any product or brand, please check. There are OEMs that are original. Very quite good OEMs but you will see the way it is being inscribed on those OEMs that they are original. And you can also Google to check that product to know how viable and how good the product is. That tells you the product is either original or fake. If it's a fake product, you would see the product is fake. Now, this filter is fake. Like I was saying, you can see the inscription there, but you open the pack. There are no Mercedes inscription on it on both sides. This is a very fake filter. And you might not know, Mercedes will put their inscription on their original filters. Any brand making original filter will put their inscription on it to tell you that, yes, we made it. We are proud of what we made. But if they are not original, you certainly know. You understand? So those are ways for you to know if what you're buying is original or not. Now, there are some brands that will really put <laughs> name on it. Meanwhile, they are not still original. You put them on your car. Maybe brake pads, they start screeching or making noise and overheating brakes yeah you have overheating brakes and a lot of things can happen to your car you can put oil in your car and you start seeing the sedimenting or sludging these are things that, that can bring issues to your car destroy your engine in the long run but naturally you need to be able to look at the product you're buying like i've had conversations with people and they've really talked about the models are cheap they've been using this oil for the past two years and it serves them right it's a good oil it does and i'm like you can use a oil for two years or for ten years hundred percent you don't see the resulting factor in two years in three years in four years but it keeps sedimenting in your engine you start seeing sludges you may not see it on top of the engine it goes down in the sump so how do you know you are not a mechanic but when you start using the right oil the manufacturer will tell you this is the right oil for your car it's also inside the owner's manual or your service manual the type of oil you should use now these people are not fools to tell you this is a type of oil you use now you can be like i want to change the temperature of the oil i use because we are in a very temperate continent and we are not in the colder region so you can change from maybe 0 w30 to maybe 5 w30 so the 0 the 5 the, those are the temperatures of the oil so you can change to 10 w30 because we don't go colder to like 10 degrees no we don't go that so if you are changing the SAE of your oil make sure the oil weight is right the oil weight the temperature you might change but the oil weight is right the oil weight should always be right if it is wrong you are putting your engine at risk and if you don't want to take risk just go for the right specification that is given by the standard automobile engineers that is it for today there will be some more that we'll talk about to help you leverage on getting the right parts for your car and we're talking about brands we'll be talking about where you can get those parts and people you can get those parts from and that will also help you or enable you in getting the right parts for your car i love you guys still remain exxon tv bye